Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here to share another finished journal that I was working on at three. And so uh, last night I shared, or today, actually, uh, or yesterday, I <laughs> shared the first one that I got done, the uh, My Beloved book. And this, so this is the next one. This is the Friends and again, I have the journal and an ephemera folder, so we're just going to do a little tour here of the whole inside and outside. Uh, you can see I have um, the closure is the same fabric as the binding fabric, so I made a tie closure. And on the uh, ribbon, I guess you could call it, oh, I did leave some of the fringe here. This was originally a... Uh, na you know like a cloth napkin and so and there was fringe all the way around so uh, this is a piece I was able to because um, I had to sew some pieces together to make this long enough so um, anyway I did get to leave some fringe on the end of the two ends so I thought that was worked out well and so and then on here I do have a charm so to speak uh, it is uh, on a ball chain hanging right here and it is a wooden nickel uh, it is has been decoupage but I didn't use Mod Podge I used uh, glue instead kind of experimenting with that because I uh, had some issues with Mod Podge so yes this is a wood nickel that I Mod Podge and rubber stamp there this has a number five on it it's been Mod Podge with pretty tissue paper and on the back here you can see that it is a wooden nickel. I wanted to leave this side uh, so that you could see, you know, I like to do a lot of my ephemera and things so that you can see what it was, you know, and then on the other side it's been altered. So those came out really neat. I have some more to do that I'll do a video on on how I did those. And then also I have a little key chain, key uh, charm here on the hanging on the uh, ball chain too. So let's just take this off. And I'll show you the journal. It is, uh, like I said, the Friends book. You can see it has the two girls on the front. It had a really pretty cover, and that's what I wanted to, uh, why I wanted to make this into a journal. They, these girls have angel wings. So, and uh, it said up here, "You've been an angel to me." Here's the back, and you can see the spine. It came out really pretty with this fabric, and it's got three signatures. So and here's what it looks like from the outside, uh, nice and it's a, you know, I didn't want to overdo it or overwhelm it, I wanted to leave plenty of room, but it's got a nice, lots of nice pretty pages there, and I used again uh, when I was uh, making the spine fabric and cutting it out from that cloth napkin, uh, It like I said it had fringe around and I had to cut off some of the fringe in order to make the fabric for the spine, so I ended up um, using that as a trim. The, the fringe that I cut off I used as trims in here and I'll show you that as we go through but uh, you can probably see it here as it sticks uh, over the pages a little bit and I thought that was really uh, neat and uh, you know just thought of that while I was doing it that hey this looks like ribbon and it looks really cool on these pages as trim so that's what I did with the uh, fringe that I cut off of that cloth napkin. So as we open up here you can see the fabric is also on the inside of the spine and I left the original papers here that was that were inside of the front and back cover the little green that was here it was so pretty but I did go ahead and add a pretty library pocket also because I used a lot of pretty double-sided scrapbook papers in here and uh, part of this I think I did on video so you probably have seen some of this before but uh, a lot of it I didn't do on video so here I've got a little flower that I added to this pocket as a decoration. In the pocket I have a playing, or this is a flat, actually a flash card. It's a pretty flash card. And you can see I love using this double-sided uh, scrapbook paper as library pockets because you can fold it. You just fold up the bottom, and then you have two pretty patterns that match because it's from the same piece of scrapbook paper, right? And then there's that flash card. And this is one of the, I showed this in my last video for the uh, other journal that I finished. This is a handmade bridge tally card and it, the artist signed it right here. 
these look like they were drawn on and these look like they were little like threads that were made into flowers either like uh, I guess they were glued on because they're not sewn through the paper but I don't know how you do that that looks like really hard to, to do like how do you make a flower out of thread and then glue it on and make it look so good I mean look at that so good and um, you know I ran across those at or I got those on eBay actually that's where I got those and I didn't really even realize uh, because I had it was a few different types of bridge tally cars and these came with it and I was like when I got them I was just like wow that is so cool and when you open it up uh, you'll see that this artist uh, inside is upside down <laughs> on this one anyway I don't think they're all like that but I guess this one's special because this artist drew it you know that's something we junk journalists do we've made mistakes and stuff but uh, yeah <laughs> so I thought it was pretty cute uh, she who or whoever made these drew it and then actually did it on the uh, she was probably wanted to do it over here but she did it over here and so it ended up being upside down but anyway just a fun little spot to use as a journaling card or whatever you want just and something very unique and special I think because I've never seen anything like that before so uh, next page or the first page in this signature is the sub some more double-sided scrapbook paper and then this is some onion skin here. I think I put onion skin one piece in each signature. And here is a page. I put several pages from the book. Uh, this one I reinforced with some of the double-sided scrapbook paper. And that scrapbook paper is like cardstock. So it's got a very strong little uh, reinforcement there. If I felt like the pages needed reinforcement, then I did. Most of them did not need reinforcement, but once in a while I did find one. That I felt like needed it. This is an envelope that I decorated, a coin envelope. It's got a card in there that just folds in half like a little place card. And you are, you know, that you would put on a table or something. And it uh, is just blank for a journaling card, so I'm not going to take it out, but there is a, a folded place card in there that's blank. And then we have some pink lined paper. I thought that matched the journal well. And this is a page from the book some of the children's writing paper there. I did put a pretty uh, paper bag in here. So this is one side of it and I've got a couple of things in here. A journaling card that I made from uh, the cover or the dust cover of the book. It had the same picture as on the front cover of the book. And so I just cut it out here and backed it with some pretty paper that I had gotten in a happy mail that has this pretty punch on two sides and so it's a journaling card now and pretty on that side with the matching the front cover and a pretty piece of note paper there so that's what's in that pocket oops goes like this so that the uh, pretty punched side can uh, act as a trim also when you uh, look at the side of the book you see that pretty punch trim uh, there so next page is ledger paper and I've got a rubber stamp here that says it's a heart that says love and I have some pearls on there. Uh, they are just like natural colored pearls. I just think those are so pretty right here. There's three of those. And then next page, oh I've got a doily here. Pink heart doily that was uh, put on, you know, on this before I put it in the book so half is here and half is on the back. The other half of the heart is on the back half of this, uh, this first signature. You'll see it in a minute. Graph paper. Pretty, the pages in the book are so pretty, as you can see here. And this is the middle of the first signature. Uh, on all of the little strings here that are, you know, in the middle of the signatures, I put buttons. And these buttons I received in Happy Mail. There's a star button here and a little bunny, a little green bunny right here so so cute right and it matches I mean this bunny is the same look how it matches the green there I just love the colors in here there's a lot of pastels but very pretty uh, colors and so the back of that page this page has the fringe trim on it and then there's a pocket right here and just a pretty pocket and in here the goodies are that are in here are this is also from the desk cover. 
I backed it with scrapbook paper and sewed zigzag stitched around it. But it just was a little um, description of friends here and of the book. So I just thought that was neat to make into like a bookmark or can be used as, your, as a drawing card or whatever you want. And I just thought it was pretty. A recipe card, a vintage recipe card is in there. And uh, one of the Valentines, Peanuts Charlie Brown Valentines. Oh, this is actually a piece from the that I cut out from the box. And yeah, I cut out all the pieces on that box because there were several pieces that looked like they could be used as decorations or journaling cards. And that was a cute Be My Valentine with, uh, I think that's Lucy and uh, Schroeder <laughs> playing the piano. And one of the heart-shaped playing cards and I tried to pick out all the playing cards I put in here I picked out a heart playing card so those are in there and then so like this is the back half of the first signature so we're just looking at the you know back half of all the pages uh, this is the other half of the heart the other half of the bag uh, in this piece in this bag I have a note paper here just a pretty note paper that can be written on uh, front and back. It's got lines on this side. And this is a, uh, I made this up from a, one of my vintage heart, you know, Valentine uh, postcards. And I made a copy and then I printed it out on, uh, on, or did I glue it? It feels like it's printed. Anyway, I'm, you know what I did? I scanned it and then I printed it on file folder. I did so many different things with this postcard. <laughs> Some of them I cut out the little heart, I cut out the whole lady, and then and I scanned it. And so this one I believe that I just scanned it and then printed it on uh, on file folder. And it came out really cute and it looks, you know, looks like the original. It's really neat how that turned out. So to finish out the signature, see all the pretty pages. There is a rubber stamp here, heart, on this onion skin paper. And then this is the last page of the first signature that I did a little decorating on here. A piece that I received in Happy Mail uh, with some punched out trim. And uh, this is a piece from Tim Holtz, uh, the botanicals of the uh, package, the recent botanical package that I got uh, that I showed in my Thrifted Treasures. So here is the start of the second signature with a pretty piece of scrapbook paper that's double-sided. Page from the book. Some more onion skin and pink lined paper. And here's a heart that I put in the second sig signature on the kids' writing paper. Okay, this is really beautiful. Right here, this scrapbook paper. I love this piece right here. Isn't that pretty? And then here's the back half with line, it's back side with lines. Ledger, uh, some more pretty scrapbook paper here. And then a pocket on this side. I've got a little pinwheel here. I received this in Happy Mail. It's a pinwheel, pink and white, with a little white button in the middle. And in this pocket I have a little notepad that I had made from scraps. And it's got a piece of backed with a piece of a printout from my digital, uh, you know, design team project from Shabby Dabby Doo Dot was a piece that was left, and that is sewn together at the top. Uh, this is a journaling card, and this is the little kind of journaling card that I made out of a scrap, and just fold it in half around the corners and put a little hello uh, rubber stamp right there. Those came out cute, and here's a little, just a little collage or layering here I did on this graph paper. It was a piece from uh, something. Oh, this was from the children's magazine. And so I glued that down there and then these are a couple other little pieces that um, I glued down there and I just thought that came out so pretty. And then here's the center. I've got buttons on this one. This is a little star and this is a little flower. Those are really pretty. And then some more of the fringe trim. A pocket here that's been decorated with a piece from the, this book. And it's a little uh, quote about friends. And then a Tim Holtz floral piece here. 
and in here I've got a few pieces of this is some of that scrapbook paper that I corner punched there as a little uh, you know a little decorated corner punch and that is in there oh there's something else in here let's see it's falling down okay <laughs> it's a tiny thing tiny piece a little piece like I told you I cut out the pieces from the Charlie Brown uh, Valentine box this is a piece from the box I just thought those were so cute and someone could have fun with those so that is in there a journaling card that I had made from a piece of file folder and a piece of purple pretty purple string on there very different I received that in Happy Mail too that string is just very, very pretty this is just a little tag I made with some uh, cardstock and a red ribbon and so we're on the back half of the second signature here's the other half of the doily here's a fold out here and that's the last page of the second signature and here's the first page of the third signature more pretty scrapbook paper double-sided I've got a little decoration here with a piece of my a scrap from the doily and this is a, a little uh, this was also from the desk cover of this book it says you've been an angel to me I put that right there just thought I, w I just wanted to use the most as much of that desk cover as I could it had a very pretty cover just like the cover of the book so um, anyway onion skin uh, this is a page from the book and I glued right on here is this is a piece from the vintage children's uh, magazine that I where, where I made a bunch of ephemera from that magazine and I fussy cut this out and it came out so cute this little family here this isn't that neat just from that magazine is so I just love it and this is some reinforcement here I did on this page you can see how pretty that scrapbook paper worked out as a reinforcement piece. So here's another piece on this side. I really reinforced that one on both sides. <laughs> but it was it's so pretty. And it looks like washi tape, but it's actually scrapbook paper. So pink lined paper, double-sided scrapbook paper. And this all the scrapbook paper is card stocky in here. If you can see that, it's more, it's thicker, much thicker than paper. And it's so pretty. I love that paper pad. I don't even know where I got it, but it's beautiful. If I ever see it again, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> so, um, other half of the doily, or this is the first half of the doily in this signature. We're not on the back half yet. Here's some of the fringe, and this is the signature. This is the center of the third signature. The two buttons I have on here is a little green star and a white kind of pearl looking pearlescent really uh, flower button those are so cute and pretty this is a beautiful this book was so beautiful I can see why I wanted to make a journal out of it this is a, just a page from the book and here is so we're on the back half back half of the heart here the heart doily here's another decoration here on this page with some of that pretty trim that I had received in Happy Mail and a Tim Holtz flower there. And this is a pocket. Uh, got a little, uh, This I received this in Happy Mail too, a little flower, like silk flower, and it has a little tiny like pearl in the middle there. Hopefully you can see that. And then the pieces in here are, uh, these are, let's see, where did I get these? Uh, I've been making so much ephemera, it's hard to remember where I got everything. Oh, these are from the Reader's Digest, I think. These pictures I cut out and then made them into, uh, made them kind of, tried to make them look like uh, photographs. So I thought they turned out really cute. Both of these are in here for you to have. And you can make them into journal -like cards or decorations or whatever you want or decorate them more, add more to them. But uh, they're in there to have fun with. And this is a library card, catalog card that I've decorated a bit. I've got some doily and some dried flowers from my garden and a wax seal there. I just saw a string. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, 
This is the back half of the second of the third signature. And just with some pretty pages here. This page has been reinforced too with some pretty scrapbook paper. It's on both sides. And then we've got onion skin and a pretty piece of scrapbook scrapbook paper in the in the back here. And I've got a pretty pocket here made from some of that scrapbook paper. And then in here I have uh, just a, this is like a cardstock note piece that I think I received this in Happy Mail. And it was just so pretty I've been saving it for a journal. So I did put it right here. You can cut that up or you know make it into smaller journaling cards or use it as a whole piece or whatever. This is uh, that vintage set of playing cards that I got at the antique store. The, that has the bears on it so that is in there and that's a heart like I said I tried to put all heart playing cards in here because these journals are my nod to Valentine's so <laughs> they're not all out val Valentine but they are my nod to Valentine's and that's one of those heart playing cards again did I put two in here? no? I thought I saw another one in here anyway it doesn't matter one or two they're just fun right? So let's look at the ephemera folder. So this is the um, goodies that you'll get along with this journal. You know when I say surprise goodies, but I've been showing, I should take the word surprise off, right? <laughs> because I've been showing them. And so this is another uh, file folder that I printed. Uh, this was the, I think this is the blossom bush from Shabby Dabby Doodah that I printed on here from that digital kit. And I wrapped it with just some uh, string here, some natural string that I think looked really pretty on here. And I just, I almost wanted to put a wax seal over it, but I knew I had to open it, so I didn't. But I thought that would look so beautiful if I could put a wax seal over this string, right? And I've got a little heart paper clip right here to help hold it closed also. And I just let me show you the front and back here. So I didn't mention it in my last video, but I mentioned it in my last the journal before that one. The one before my beloved, uh, the one of my design team projects that these ephemera folders are so cool because you, whoever buys them, could actually make a journal out of these covers. They're like really pretty little covers. They already have pockets sewn into them. So you could take all the ephemera out of here and make this into a really cute journal. But, so what I have in here is the goodies that come with this journal is, let me show you, <laughs> let me take them all out. So I have one of the love uh, postcards from the post office. I had, did have to cut it down a bit so it would fit in the pocket because it was a little bit bigger around. So I cut it down to fit in the pocket, but still really, you can see, see I didn't take off any of the postage stamp part. And it's just a whole set of these that I have. I think they're really cool. I've never used them before until now. The last journal in this journal. And the next journal will get one. And then I have uh, a decorated pretty time card here. It's got copy dyed paper on the back. And just pretty wallpaper. little layered sewn cluster there. I think it's got something else in the back here just some scraps and things and it's been uh, coffee dyed and I think it's got some blue dye in there and it's pretty lace up here I just had a lot of fun making these so that is in there as a fun piece I put some extra doilies in here for whoever gets this this is a heart doily and a coffee dyed doily for someone to have fun with and so that was in the back pocket the front pocket has one of these cute little uh, Japanese lantern envelopes they have the name of a jeweler down here and you know writing on the back and you can open them up and put something in there or use them however you wish I just think they're really cool and a lined Rolodex card those are old a piece that has been sewn around this is a little drilling card left from my design team project from the lovely lilacs uh, Shabby Debbie Do digital kit. This is a piece that I made into a journaling card from the children's, the very old, uh, pretty old, you know, 1950s uh, 
children's magazine. And this is one of those little miniature, I'm calling them miniature <laughs> coasters because they look like little paper coasters, but they are really tiny. You can see how small they are. They're probably like two, what is that, two by two or two and a half by two and a half, something like that. Really cool, and you can use it, that as a decoration somewhere, glue it on something or whatever, whatever you want to do. So that's that side. So let's look at this side. I had a lot of fun making this journal. I, Of course I have fun making all my journals, right? <laughs> I put some extra scrap, you know, a coffee dyed paper. It's a whole sheet for you could, to cut up and do whatever you want with. I already think that might come in handy, just in case you don't have any. I put a piece in there, and this is another, oh, this is one of the paper doll pieces that I put on, made into a journaling card. It's uh, been, you know, I used all my scraps, and I put a little quote on here from Charles Dickens, too, from my scrapbook paper pad, and so that is in there for fun. And that's from the old mag children's magazine, those paper dolls, just in case you hadn't seen that. That is a original, authentic piece from that magazine that I fussy cut out and glued on there. One of my pink dyed uh, guest checks, and uh, this has got goodies in here, so I'll show you this in a second. Uh, let me show you the bottom pocket first. Uh, this is a uh, journaling card, cute little journaling card there. I thought it went well with the Valentine theme. Some red tickets to have fun with, matching the Valentine theme. And this is a journaling card from the Prevention, Vintage Prevention magazine that I had won from Aaliyah. And so in here, um, I just found this bag in my stash. <laughs> like I was looking for some a bag to put some tiny goodies in, you know. I was like, oh my goodness, look at these. I have a heart bag. So I said, let me get those out. So I used it for this journal. And so what do I have in here? I have like, lots of goodies. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I think I got everything out of there. Uh, all right, so I have a coin, you know, sorter piece here. You can have fun with that. And a piece of lace that you can use for a pocket, possibly, or whatever. Cut it up and use for collaging or layering. And let me just put it back in there as we go through it. Uh, some postage stamps. Uh, there's a cardinal, and you know, this one's from, I think this one's, from, oh, it says United States, but it's really cool. This is a really different one. So those are in there. Let me get them back in there neatly. Uh, let's see, that wraps around. There's some pink uh, Rick Rack in here. There are some punched out flowers here that are fun to, you know, decorate things with journaling cards or pockets or whatever ephemera you might want to make or something so those are in there uh, let's see these are the Scooby-Doo stickers that I made into postage stamps these are some tiny tiny I have a little tiny flower punch and so that's what these are a little tiny <laughs> I can't even get a hold of them little tiny flowers uh, there are a bunch of those and then some Mickey Mouse punches that I made from my daughter-in-law's punch that I gave her for Christmas. She let me make some punches before she took it home so I have some of those in there. I think they're fun and cute. And some paper clips. They're the, you know, the plastic covered colored ones to have fun with. And I thought I had some more paper clips in there. Anyway, some buttons right here. Four buttons that you can glue down and do whatever you want with and have some fun. Here's some more flowers over here. I just, when I put these flowers in there, I have a little jar that I keep these little tiny ones in. And I just take a pinch out. <laughs> I put a pinch in. And so, yeah, there's a bunch in there. But, so, yeah, that was back. Let's see, that was over here. So, yeah, that's the ephemera pack, and that's the whole bundle or package there. So, oh, another flower escaped. Okay, so, yeah, and then, so, I just fastened this 
on like this. Of course, you can do it. Whoever gets it can do whatever they want. And then I kind of just tie this on like this. Like you put a little piece out in front like this because you're gonna need some to tie at the end when you're done wrapping this string around. And then I just kind of wrapped it around. I want it kind of uh, going out, you know, crisscrossing each other. But I want this string loose so that I can tie it at the end. So I just was kind of wrapping it around, all kind of crisscross. I just think it looked pretty like that. And uh, Kind of not any certain way, and then I, then you have the uh, the string that comes around at the end to tie your little bow. Okay, so this is um, when you see this video, this will be in my shop, and I thank you for all, all for watching, and hope you enjoyed it, and I will see y'all next time. I have, I have another journal. The third one is the William Shakespeare. And I should have that ready uh, tomorrow. So I'll see you next time. Happy crafting. Have a good night.